I'm Antonio Garcia, folks, Martial Arts Odyssey. Today we're in Kuala Lumpur, and that's in Malaysia. And I'm here with Guru Mazalan Mat, and I am learning Sila Kalam. Guru, yes. thank you so much for teaching me. You're welcome. I'm so happy to see you again. <laughs> yeah, I've learned a lot. <laughs> and getting uh, very perfect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Silakalam is the moment where you never use more, a lot of strength, more to move. You are using uh, the position of a prayers. The position of uh, where you pray to the God, you pray to God, so that your step will be sitting too late, where, where you stand on the ground, and you on the top of your head is the sky, where you hold to yourself, you see? So, Sirat Kalam is really the moment of uh, martial arts, uh, it's an it's a art that you are not going to attack anybody. You see, the arts means uh, the soften of your kindness, human human being. So you are going to be living friendly yeah. to anybody and to talk love, uh, stay in harmony, peace, eh? no more quarrel. This is what our our God teaches teaches to be uh, all the time. You see, so that silat kalam takes his position just to get people to know each other, uh, to love each other, and to have a self-defense. Our enemy is not that human being. Our enemy is Satan. Satan always want to kill us, want to make us, you know, fighting each other among human beings. This is what. So we must live in peacefully. So when we have a defense, so nobody can attack us, nobody can harm us. So. We are always be a good friend to anybody. When I told the guru that I was Catholic and I asked if I could study with him, although he's Muslim, he said, we don't talk about religion, we only talk about God. He said, if we talk about God, everybody's happy. It's only when we talk about religion, people get angry. Kalam Zia! Al-Fatiha. Kalam Zia! Shukur Alhamdulillah. Shukur Alhamdulillah. Wa ashadu anna Muhammada Rasulullah. Ashadu an la ilaha. Wa ashadu anna Muhammada Rasulullah. Ashadu an la ilaha. I was the first uh, foreigner, the first non-Muslim to be allowed to study the Silat Kalam. Now the word Kalam actually uh, comes from a word which means to profess your faith. So it's uh, closely tied to the religion, this type of Silat. So for example, the base, base position, you're always just standing in a neutral stance. And the first movement is Doa. And Doa is when you bring your hands up for prayer. So all of the throws you've seen actually up to this point, they're all based on this one prayer movement of bringing your hands up. Bring your hands up for the prayer. And bring your hands up to defend yourself. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Shukur alhamdulillah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ah. Illallah. Illallah. We, you see, if not because of God, we are not in this world. When we are in this world, it purposely because of God. God has very great created us human being and to give a good thing to us in this world. But one thing, what we did, we always did because of other things. Because of money, 
because of property, because of people, is it? But actually, to make you strong, make your speaker, make your heart very strong, you must always remember whatever you do, nothing and nothing less that you're going to say, you're going to, to do is because of God, because of Allah. You breathe because of Allah, you see because of Allah, you think because of Allah, whatever you do, you eat, you drink, you sleep, then you become a perfect man. <laughs> Thank you, Guru. These series of movements in Malay are called Bok, and it's basically both opponents know what they need to do, and there'll be a series of two or three or four movements usually in Silat. Now in the Silat Kalam, it's a little different because you've got what we call the lock. So you go from the throw into the lock position. Now the thing that's different about these locks, if I compare it to like submission holds or some other kind of wrestling, is that when you are in a lock, you are completely helpless. You generally cannot fight your way out of a lock at all. <laughs> So it's a question of can you get the man into the lock. Now the guru has been doing this for you know, years and years and years. I honestly believe anybody comes at him, any angle, any direction, they're going to wind up on the ground, tied up like a pretzel. And every one of these locks is designed that when you're tied up like that, he just applies a little bit of pressure and bones start to pop and break. And uh, at the end of every ball, you'll notice that the person being thrown, being locked, will scream. Ah! That's real. That is heartfelt. It is actually painful every single time. And the way you know you're doing it correctly, you push it right to the limit where your opponent, or your partner in this case, says, ah, and then you know you've done it right. Two, who, three, who, four, who, five, who, six, who. All the episodes of Martial Arts Odyssey are a mix between martial art and then also local culture, religion, history. I'm trying to really explore uh, other countries and other ways of life through my show. With the Silat Kalam, I really got a look into Muslim culture, something I hadn't had a lot of experience with, and of course with the Malay culture. And it was really nice to be a part of all of that. In studying this particular martial art, I was also able to learn a little bit of the language, a little bit of Arabic language, and I had to attend classes every day uh, with the guru, learning about the religion of Islam, learning about the language. It was really one of the deeper experiences I've had in the many years that I've been in Asia uh, studying martial arts. And it was good because I've spent so much time with Chinese Buddhists and Thai Buddhists, and now I got to spend some time with a different religion, one that I didn't know a lot about. Hey, Antoine Recepo, that's it for this episode of Martial Arts Odyssey. Today we are in Kuala Lumpur, that's in Malaysia. I'm here with Guru Mazalan Man, and we are learning Silat Kalam Guru. Thank you so much. Thank you. And as always, I tell you, get in the gym, do your sets, do your reps, do your road work, and please say a prayer for the people of Shan State. <laughs>